Back in 1990 or 1991, the first adventure game that I ever played was Space Quest 3. You've seen it quite often on this channel and in fact I think it's one of the best known games that Sierra ever published. And while it's surprisingly short once you know your way around it, it is still one of the games that I always come back to. The weird places you can visit, the nonsensical things you can do, for example you can sit in a burger joint and eat fast food which seemingly does nothing to advance the game, but then you find a decoder ring and there's that video game in that corner. So what's up with that? Aha, a mini game in the game. Sierra actually released this as freeware back in the day, as a way to promote the actual game. I got my copy back in the day from some shareware vendor, where you would pay a few bucks for a 360 kilobyte floppy disk, which would contain some shareware game, tool or in this case Astro Chicken. I guess nowadays you simply download it from some website, run it in DOSBox and be done with it. But that's not how you roll now, is it? So first, let's check out that floppy. At first glance, shows us the typical Sierra data files. This game is definitely written using their proprietary SCI engine. So let's run the install program. Okay, we've got VGA graphics. Let's also choose the adlib for sound. Although we have both the MT32 and the Game Blaster, I think today we'll listen to sweet OPL2 sound. We don't want either joystick nor mouse support, and we skip the hard disk installation as well. Okay, we are set to go. Just run the Astro Bat file and off we go. After an unusual long load time and quiet Sierra Half Dome logo, we get to the copyright warning. While the game was given out as freeware, make no mistake, Sierra doesn't want you to make money from it. And before copying, make sure you've got written permission. After we got that out of the way, we are sent to the greeting screen. You get a few pages of instructions, and then to start the game you actually have to type something due to the fact that Space Quest 3 still used the SCI Zero engine with a text parser, so we simply type play game and get started. Maybe there's another way, but I was not clever enough to figure it out. If you do, please leave it in the comments. The game is basically just a version of Lunar Lander, Instead of a spaceship, you have to land a chicken on a home plate. Make sure you don't go too fast and watch your fuel. Um, I mean your chicken feed. When you run out, the chicken crashes. Also, the chicken crashes when you drop too fast. You can steer left, right, you can flatten, stop the flapping, and stop drifting. That's it. The game can be won by landing Astro Chicken and a certain number of times on the pad. The game then very shortly switches to a screen from the actual game, which involves the decoder ring, but goes straight back to the attract mode screen. The game has not much more to offer, it is pretty straightforward and simplistic, but still I was very happy when I got this as a standalone game back then as a kid. A quick look through the menus reveals that this is indeed taken straight from or the original Space Quest 3 game. The credits and about screens are exactly the same. So that's Astro Chicken for you. But wait, it gets better. I didn't get to play Space Quest 4 for many years after that. For some reason it was never circulating on the schoolyard. But another thing was circulated, again, mostly through the shareware windows. Astro Chicken 2, also known as Mrs. Astro Chicken. As a nod to Mrs. Pac-Man. This is another minigame taken from an actual game. In fact, from the aforementioned Space Quest 4. The install of the game shows that it's from the newer generation of ACI games. Again, we choose VGA, this time in glorious 256 colors. And also Adlib or Sound Blaster for the music. Let's pick no mouse and please do use our extended memory if that helps at all. The loading time of this whopping 500 kilobyte game is even longer from floppy disk, so maybe it's best if you install it on the hard disk instead, but that would lessen the nostalgia, wouldn't it? Anyway, the game is a, well, horizontal shooter of sorts. You play Mrs. Astro Chicken and you can drop eggs on your enemies. Those are mainly the farmer and his dog. 
But there's also the flying fox, which can't be harmed by your eggs. Also, stay clear of the windmills, they will smack you up. You can pick up fence wire to protect against the flying fox, each hit giving you 5 extra points, but after 3 hits, the shield is gone. Also, you have a limited supply of eggs. To stock up, you have to collect corn cobs from a field, but usually those are well guarded by dogs, windmills or the farmer, so be careful. The game goes on for quite some time, but eventually around 250 points you will reach the end and Mrs. Astro Chicken will land in her hen house. The game is amazingly varied for such a totally random extra from a full-fledged A title from 1991. It is obviously not the greatest game ever and the music is horribly repetitive, but the artwork is neat and cute and uh, the challenge to get to the hen house for the first time is at least something. I have to admit the replay value is not quite that big. Looking at the About screen, we see that the game is really cut out from the original Space Quest 4 and uses the same game engine and assets. However, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this a little and if you'd like you can support me by clicking subscribe, leaving a like or dislike and leaving a comment. And on top of that you can drop a coin on Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.